Hey there guys, it's Chaos Master Time. Welcome back to more Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, we did some more stuff in Gloomy Galleon, including getting a feather stuck against nothing. Seriously, it was not in a goddamn thing. Well, uh, I know we took out a mechanical fish last episode and we explored a bit of this area. We're mostly done with the lighthouse area. In fact, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to finish it up to this, this episode. So first things first, we're gonna grab this bunch of purple bananas in front of this treasure chest. And, come on, grab them, Tiny. I know that they're like twice as big as your body right now, but you can still grab them. Thank you. All right. Now we want to swim inside this treasure chest because there is something inside for us. And that thing inside for us is a bunch of evil smiling clams. Yeah. Anyway, these clams are guarding the pearls that belong to the mermaid. So, why the clams are siding with the reptiles, I don't know, beats me, but hey, I mean, it gives us a bit of fit since they're inside clams. So. What we're gonna have to do is just go through here and swim into each clam and grab the pearl. It doesn't matter if the clam shuts its mouth on you. The only thing that hurts you is the teeth while, it, while it's in motion. Yeah, while, while the teeth are in motion. So, don't mind me. I'm just gonna come over here and grab this pearl. Okay. Alright. Now open your mouth. Okay. I feel like I'm at the dentist, which is odd because since I'm going to have a dentist appointment in a few days. Ah, uh, I hate going to the dentist. Well, to be fair, I don't think anybody does like going to the dentist. I mean, hell, I'd rather fight Asgore. Just thought I'd make a connection to that piece of dialogue since he said it's like a visit to the dentist and whatnot. Uh, whatever. Alright, well, the important thing is we finally grabbed all the pearls. I collected all of these pearls. Maybe I should go see the mermaid. If you hadn't, if you haven't visited the mermaid before this, she will still say that. Apparently, Tiny is t not telekinetic's not the word, but she's psychic and she knows that the mermaid has her pearls stolen and stuffed in a chest somewhere. So yeah. Anyway, now that we've completed that, uh, we'll actually go ahead and go see the mermaid. So, um. We also uh, want to drain the water level while we're there, because there's a few things that we can do there only while the water level is drained, so give me a moment. Hey there, buddy. No. Alright, here we are outside the mermaid's palace. Now, we're going to go ahead and take Tiny in here, and she is going to, well, return the pearls to the mermaid, obviously. Oh, my lovely pearls! I hope this golden banana will do as a reward. So yes! The mermaid is happy now. And she also apparently has Tiny's voice. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Gimme! Give okay. Uh, yes. Th thank you for informing me that your pearls are going to get stolen again. BANANA! Alright, and now if it's alright to you, Miss Mermaid, I would like to prove that mermaids exist in the world, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a picture of you, and you're going to smile pretty, okay? Beautiful. Yep, totally going to use that to prove that mermaids exist in the world. Oh, by the way, what should I call that picture? Um, How about... The walls have eyes. Beautiful. Alright, well, now that I've thoroughly creeped everybody out, I'm going to go ahead and, uh... Yeah, what I want to do is actually I want to switch to Diddy before I, uh... Lower the water level, because there's actually uh, a few things that we need him to do in this section still. So first things first, we're going to swim up to the lighthouse and uh, hop into the jet barrel again. So give me just a moment. Alright, 
Yeah, we've done that. We, we're gonna uh, fly over to where that seal that DK freed was captured a moment ago because there is a red banana balloon over here. Very easily missable. Honestly, if you don't fly around and explore this area with Diddy, you will easily miss that. Okay, now that we've taken care of that, there is nothing left for us to do in this section, so we're gonna go ahead and lower the water level. Yeah, I don't know why, but apparently the buttons are also inconsistent. So, um, yeah, the buttons are pretty glitchy for some reason. Well, apparently when you want to lower the water level, all you have to do is sw swim over to the button that's labeled lower. It doesn't matter if it's pressed in or, or not already, apparently. Yeah, I've never really understood how how those things are programmed either, but they're both very awkwardly programmed, is what I'm saying. Okay, and now you are dead. Give me blueprint. And I'll go switch back to Tiny. Alright, and while we're here, we'll... Excuse me! I was about to pop a balloon! There's no reason for you to run up and try to punch me! Don't you know that you should never hit a girl? Honestly. How rude! Okay, well, now we've done that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and raise the water level again for the time being. Just so, uh, because there's a few things that I want to, uh, do back in... What do you call it, the... Also, water is slowly raising, I don't know why, it took a while for it to raise. There's a few things I want to do back in the main area. So, we're just going to warp over there. And, um, I actually want to grab a few bananas that are difficult to grab otherwise. But, if you don't have the water level raised. So, what we're going to do is, first things first, we're going to take out Chunky. Because we saw, um, I remember earlier we went over to this area and saw a banana bunch just sitting there. What we're going to do is, we're going to take him and do a flip jump. Come on. Okay. And now I believe around this area as well, there is a banana balloon floating around for Lanky. Okay, yes. So now we'll go switch to Lanky. And then um, I think I actually want to go to visit Candies. As I said, we were gonna do a few episodes ago. So let's go ahead and pull out Lanky. And now that we uh, have Lanky with us, we're gonna use him to pop the balloon. So let's go ahead and get him to do that. All right, come on, buddy. And, oh, you're kind of far away, aren't you? No worries, I can still hit you. Yeah, that'd be stupid if they made us get like a sniping upgrade just so we could hit far away targets. Pfft. Yeah, what a dumb idea that would be. Okay, um, well, since we now have, um, I thought there was a tag barrel over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and switch back to DK now. Uh, not only that, but, uh, to visit that seal in a moment that we freed earlier. But first, we're gonna visit Candy like I said we were going to. It's your lucky day, donkey. Um, for just five coins, I can now upgrade your- Oh, okay. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. How about it? Yes, please! I would like that upgrade! So now all of our instruments have more musical energy. Why would we be- Why we would be using our instruments this much escapes me. But since musical energy is kind of difficult to refill... I mean, because the only way you can refill it is... I mean, it doesn't refill when you reset the game or whatever, I mean... Again, musical energy's just always been a bit of an odd spot for me. I don't know, but the point is, we have more musical energy now. Let's talk to this guy. Shiver me flippers! Tis the good monkey! Here, matey! Have some of gold with thanks from this old sea dog or seal. So he gives us a golden banana. And also, a har! Why not sail through yonder tunnel and join me in a little race? A chest of gold, if ye triumph over two laps and collect ten pieces of weight along the way. Press Z to set sail and use control stick to navigate your galleon. 
R turns her sharply, and A makes her leap like a sea dog, or whatever. So yeah, remember these controls, as they won't only be important for this race, but also for later. So, we're going to race. Now, this race can be a bit of a challenge if you're not used to the course. Honestly, this course isn't that bad. It's I think it's just mo mostly a figure eight with a, a junction point in the middle where you change lanes. Or, I don't know. But also, th those crates explode, so don't bump into them. And the seal has rubber band AI. That's right. Uh, after you reach a certain point in the racing track, if you are a certain distance ahead of the seal, he will jump ahead of you. Like we're probably about to see right here. Yep. I don't think he does this on the last lap, but uh, again, he is pretty annoying with that. All right. And also you do bump off him and lose a little speed if you bump him. And yeah, that's another thing. Always navigate through the checkpoints. Since he goes through most of them too, you will probably be missing most of them. Or, you won't be missing most of them is what I'm trying to say. Uh, just swim through all of them. I'm just saying, you can miss them because he goes through them too and you might bump off of him. Okay. Thank you for not, thank you for not doing that. Okay, now since we're coming up on the last lap here, don't be afraid to miss a few checkpoints. Uh, when you're coming up on the goal. If you know where it is, of course. Alright, so, now. Would you mind moving your butt, please? Oh, God. No. No, come on. There's gotta be another coin here. Another coin? Another coin? I freaking lost. I've never lost that before! I have never lost that before! I can't believe I actually lost it! Okay, well... That's unfortunate. Oh well. I, how'd I miss that? I went through it, didn't I? Okay. Future Sean, you're gonna have to start checking some of these because I'm pretty sure I went through most of these. And if not, you'll be happy to prove me wrong. Yeah, hitboxes on these checkpoints. They're pretty weird. Also, I don't understand how you're supposed to get that coin on top of the box. Okay, okay well, now I don't have any leeway to miss a few checkpoints if I... Yeah, if I miss two more checkpoints, I'm screwed. Also, get out of my way. I've never actually had, really had trouble on this before. It might take you a few tries on your first run, but I can't believe I actually managed to lose this. I've never once lost this race before. It's weird. Okay, well, anyways. Still, rem it's a good, maybe it's a good idea of getting some more practice in with this because just remember the controls for this boat because they will be become important later. As I thought, he doesn't rubber band ahead of us on the last lap, which is nice. Okay, now, I can just get the rest of these checkpoints. Thank you! Oh, that wasn't too bad. Wasn't as smoothly, wasn't the smooth sailing I was hoping for, pun intended, but, oh well. Arr. I'd be shamed. It'd be a long while since I lost. Yeah, I know. Me too. But do you have me word, Sonny? Here you go. Now never speak to me again. Yeah, I, I think you can only actually uh, redo this the first time. Or, I think you can only redo this if you go back to it now. If you come back to this later, I don't think you actually have access to this minigame anymore. I don't know why they put it, made it like that, but I think that's the case. I mean, I don't remember being able to access it after that one time, so... Unless you go right back in after you win it for the first time. But, enough of me talking. Right now, let's go over here and grab us some Nurners. Yeah, there's some Nurners under here. Also, I'm calling them Nurners again. Don't know why. grab has got a jiggy, Nurner, Nurner! Alright. So, um... 
Let's see what time are we at now. We're at 16 minutes. We've still got a bit of time. Um, right, I was going to uh, go around and see if there's anything else that I am missing uh, with the uh, raised water level that I can't do that. I was going to check if there's, see if there's anything else that I can only do with the water level being raised. I'll, I'll probably just uh, explore around here a bit and then uh, go change it back off screen. Also, there's some red bananas around the ship right here. Don't forget them. They're very easy to miss. Excuse me, just had a mid hiccup right there. <sighs> All right. Um, now that we take taken care of that, I think I actually want to switch back to Tiny and we're gonna go grab another golden banana with her. So first things first. Uh, when we uh, get Tiny in our group, or what am I saying? I don't even know anymore. What can I say, guys? This level really sucks out a lot of my... A lot of the things that makes me interesting. Well, enough about that. There's a submarine here. What we gotta do is, uh, I believe that there is a opening in the viewfinder that we can swim through with Tiny. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and swim through that. Uh, viewfinder's not the word, right word. I mean periscope or whatever. I mean, at least it looks like a periscope. But anyway, there are some enemies of interest in here, if I can find some. Yes, these guys! These are puffed ups! When you get close to them, they will inflate and then explode. Their spikes shoot off and are very difficult to avoid, so... The ideal way to deal with them is not to deal with them at all. Just swim right past them. Also- WHOA! Okay, just go ahead and... Take a super dive right there, Tiny. Weird. Alright, well, it looks like we have another round of Big Bug Bash upon us. So, luckily this won't be too bad. Just gotta swat six flies. I wonder, can I swat them all without missing once? Oh, well, there you go. Now, watch me spend the rest of the 50 seconds just trying to swat this one fly. Okay, there, got him. Yeah, this game can either run hot or cold with most people. I mean, you can either be really good at it or really terrible at it. I, for one, am usually really good at it, but then there are some times when I'm really terrible at it. Like, this isn't one of my better runs right here. But there we go. Still made it. Still a very easy game if you know how their patterns work. I mean, it's a bit difficult to describe how their patterns work. You mostly learn it by instinct. All right, well... Now that we've taken care of that, let's go ahead and exit this place. And while we're here, I'll also uh, take the time to show you the rest of the area of Gloomy Galleon. Uh, over here we have Funkies. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any new upgrades for us at the moment. And over here we have um, some pillars that a lot of them are submerged beneath the water right now. So we're going to... Uh, need to change the water level again, back at the lighthouse. Alright. I, I'm i actually gonna check around and see if there's anything else that I'm possibly missing. I don't think there is, but... You know what, I think I'm actually gonna do something else in this episode, too. No, we'll save that for next time, because... Yeah, there's probably gonna be two more episodes of Gloomy Galleon, and then we'll take a break. Or, at least, I'll take a break. So... I'm pretty sure I got everything that you need a raised water level to get. So I'll go back and change the water level back off screen. And next time on Donkey Kong 64. We're going to be exploring some of the wrecked ships in this area. You might have noticed that there are a lot of ships for us to explore. Like a lot of gateways that we can open with switches and stuff. We're going to be exploring those next episode. So I will see you guys next time in the lighthouse area after I've changed the water level. See you guys next time! Laters! Tiny, you're so talented.